got a couple different things to talk about today. First off, Lost River is basically uh, the same as Amethyst, as I'm sure everybody has figured out, and that you have the same missions, learn to hunt and uh, find a mate. And when you're looking for a mate, the dispersal wolves that you encounter are from the same packs as they are in Amethyst. Now, this doesn't make any sense, as longtime player Dino Dog Dude pointed out on the forum. And so we realized, you know, Lost River is far from Yellowstone. Nobody, nobody knows where exactly it is out in the Rocky Mountain West. There really should be some different packs out there that the dispersals come from. The ones at Amethyst are, those are actual wolf packs that live in Idaho and Montana and Wyoming, kind of in a horseshoe shape around the northern part of Yellowstone. So for Lost River now, we set it up so we can have dispersals coming from different packs. But what packs should those be? We started to think about some uh, Lost Riverish names for these packs, but then we thought, you know, it'd be great to get some player ideas on this. So give it some thought. What would be some good wolf pack names for packs living around Lost River and wherever this is out in the West? We're thinking these could be a little bit creative, a little bit uh, unusual, not too on the nose in terms of whatever happened in Lost River, but names that might just seem right for this map. So think about it. If you got an idea, post it below and we'll look them over and pick the ones we like most to put in the game. Let's see what else. We've uh, got a lot of new players coming in in the past month, um, which is great to see. And for those people, if you're learning the game, we just want to point you to a couple of resources in the game. Of course, there's the pop-up tutorials. You can view all those in the game help. Um, and all that material is also on the website. If you go to wolfquest.org, click support, and scroll down to gameplay tips, all that stuff is there. You can browse at your leisure. Of course, there's also a lot of technical support help there as well. We've also got these gameplay tips videos that JPlays made. They're up on our YouTube channel, so check those out. And if you are uh, a new player to the game or have been playing the game for a while and got it on Steam and haven't written a review, we would really appreciate a review. Even if it's just one sentence, helps a lot, especially boosting the numbers in the recent reviews tally is very helpful. So thanks for anybody who does that. So over the past weeks, we've been working on multiplayer and Slough Creek and also some stuff for the next patch of the game. There were a couple unfortunate bugs in the last patch. Elk calves in the wintertime are not biteable. I thought we'd fix that, but apparently not. Um, there's a weird glitch with um, contact emotes. That's the chin rest and sniff noses and look face. Don't know how that broke, but we'll get that fixed in the next patch. And the big thing is that Tommy, early developer, has basically written a new physics and collision system, which is going to help a lot in Lost River, where we have a lot of these odd obstacles, cars and stairs and stuff like that, that uh, the original system just wasn't designed for. But it's also necessary for Slough Creek, where we have a lot of these complex rocky outcrops that you need to be able to walk around on. We're finishing that up, got a few bugs. Our beta testers have been doing a good job of finding those. Here's one of the more entertaining ones, so I'll just leave this here for your enjoyment. <laughs> 